the appraisal. It's another thing that makes buyers and sellers both a little bit anxious. So if it's a cash buyer, there generally isn't an appraisal. So that's why it's appealing to a seller when they see a cash buyer, because that's one of the things they don't have to worry about. What if the price that they're offering me doesn't appraise out? So let's say someone offered 500000 and the, the listing price was four hundred. The person's worried, like, well, what if it doesn't get come at five hundred? Then what? So to clarify that, so when it's a cash buyer, there's never an appraisal, so the seller knows, okay, they offered me five hundred. I'm getting five hundred. Now let's talk about if there is somebody who comes with a loan, which is the majority of the time. So let's say the selling price of the home was four hundred thousand, and the people might offer a five hundred with a loan. Okay, so one of the things the person who write the offer might do is say, well, cover some of the appraisal gap. What does that mean? The appraisal gap is the, you know, the loan originator is going to have somebody come out and appraise the property because they don't want to write a loan on a property that's, you know, way, way undervalued because they're not going to get their money. So the appraiser comes out and let's say on this house we're talking about, he says it appraises at 450000 So there's 550000 that the lender's like, I don't want to cover that. So if, let's say the person wrote the offer and they said they'd cover 20,000 of the appraisal gap. So that means they wrote an offer of 500, the appraisal came in at 450 and they're covering 20,000. So that's gonna take that selling price up to 470 because they're taking the 450 and we're gonna give you $20,000 20, of the difference. What happens to that 30,000 difference? That's the question. Um, when you write in the offer, uh, you can say that the seller has the opportunity to cure it. And that's when the seller can say, all right, we're gonna drop the price to the 470. That would be the seller's first option, just drop the price to the 470. Because then the, the land, they're gonna loan for what the value is. The, um, the person wrote 450, they're gonna bring 20 extra thousand to the um, closing. That's important. They have to bring 20 extra thousand to closing. So they have their down payment. Let's say they did 10,000 down payment. So that would be, 50,000, they have to show they have an extra $20,000 to bring to the closing. And that would bring up the selling or the closing price to 470. So then the seller has to decide, do we want to drop our price to the 470 or do we not? If they don't want to, they can back out of that sale. It, that is generally written in the contract. The seller can say, no, we're just going to back out. Um, a lot of times, depending on the, how the market is, they might cover it. They might just say, uh, okay, we'll drop to the 470. In this market, the seller very well might say, nope, we're not going to do it. We're going to go back out into the market because they think they can get an offer that would cover that whole appraisal gap. Yeah. to summarize uh, about an appraisal. If you have a cash offer, there's not going to be appraisal. That's why sellers like cash offers because they know whatever price is on that contract is what they're getting. If you're a buyer, you can write to cover some of the appraisal gap.